cocharon. Quiere cocharon. For over four centuries, thousands of Bantus lived in Somalia, initially as slaves, then as free people, but never as citizens. Kisito and Esther were there for more than four decades, yet they say they always felt like strangers. Kisito was abandoned by his parents when he was 12. Italian missionaries in Mogadishu took him into their care. He remembers a life of humiliation. Disprezzati, cioè gente bassa che non vale, cioè che non può, gente bassa che non è intelligente, che non può eh, dirigere niente. In his mid 40s he was reunited with his parents. But when the war erupted in Somalia in the 90s, the family had to flee. Kisutu sent his wife and three daughters away. He didn't want to seek asylum in just any country. He wanted to move to the land of his ancestors, to Tanzania. Kisutu remained behind to take care of his sick parents. The separation from his family lasted nine years. E allora ho detto ai miei bambini, la moglie, la mia famiglia, ho detto di andare, di mettersi in fuga in, nel Kenya fino in Tanzania, specialmente se riusciva ad andare fino alla Tanzania perché là c'è eh, il paese d'origine. Eh, Esther's return to Tanzania with only her children was difficult. On the journey she was imprisoned, but she persevered. There was no turning back. Mimi anche che eravamo in Tanzania, si gisikia viedi sana kwa sababu kutoka kula wa Somalia. Ni kengire mwe Kenya. Niona bula home haka Tanzania, niona fungwa mia na fungwa mwezi na siku shano. Naongwa nu ye Somalia lakini si leme rasi fungwa kwa kunonga nivuzwe. Niona ngangania mpaka nipate Tanzania. Kengire mwe Tanzania na jisikia uhuru. When she arrived in Tanzania, UNHCR helped with supplies. She made ends meet, but everything changed when her husband finally was able to join her. Nio chapa na pata moyo ambao tu kazi jana kaja manyo wezo akena nimdodo kwa angu sina wezo, sina nguvu, na pata mnyangu wakuni sukuma. Basi, nio nangira kupata hima ambao ya kuja manyangu nguvu ili nipate maendeleo. Kisitu and Esther, along with 3,000 other Somali Bantus, returned to Tanzania as refugees. At first, they settled in a camp. Then the government allocated them plots of land. This year, they were granted Tanzanian nationality. Uh, è una gioia. Di fatto, quando mi hanno dato la, il, il documento di nazionalità tanzaniana, davanti a tutti l'ho preso e l'ho baciato. Ho preso anche un, una porzione di terra, l'ho baciato così, quasi quasi volevo ingoiarlo cioè, da, dalla felicità. Ho saputo che sono veramente, sono ritornato in casa mia e mi considero, ho dimenticato tutto quello che, tutto quello che mi è passato in Somalia. Life here is not easy. Poverty is rampant in Chogo and land is the only asset Kisutu has. But that matters less than the fact that he is home. Qui non ho niente, però mi sento più ricco che quando ero in Somalia. Un scellino di Tanzania per me ha più valore di un milione di scellini della Somalia perché lì avevo soldi ma non avevo l'onore, non ero come si chiama rispettato. For the first time in their lives, Kisutu and his family enjoy the same rights as people living around them. The children can go to school, get health care, and most importantly, they clearly belong somewhere. They have come home. <laughs>